Hi everyone and welcome to our next video on some revision with the topic reoccurring decimals to fraction. In this lesson we are going to be looking at some exam questions and how to get full marks on each one. Okay so our first question is on the screen now so it says prove algebraically that the reoccurring decimal 0 0.8 can be written as 8 ninths. So if we have a look now let's make x equal to 0 0.8 reoccurring so x is equal to 0 0.8 reoccurring which is the same as 0 0.8 8 8 8 8 8 and so on okay now let's multiply this whole thing by 10 okay so let's multiply it by 10 and that would get us 10x and 10x is going to be equal to 8.8 8 8 8 8 and so on now as you can see the endings are now the same the numbers after the decimal point are now the same so we have 0.888 and we have 0.888 as well so that means we can just subtract these two numbers from each other okay so we can do 8.888 subtract 0 0.888 and that's going to give you an answer of 0 0 0 and 8 so it's just going to give you an answer of 8 so we just have done 10x subtract x and we've got 8 over here and what is 10x subtract x that's 9x so 9x is therefore equal to just 8 okay now to get x by itself we can divide by 9 so we can divide by 9 on both sides and we get x is equal to 8 ninths. And there, as you can see, we have proved that that is the same as that. So if we just go through the steps now, all we have done is this reoccurring decimal over here. We've just made it equal to x. So x is equal to the reoccurring decimal. Now we need to get rid of this reoccurring decimal to one side. We want to get rid of it so we're just left with whole numbers and that's why we're multiplying it by 10 so we can get rid of the numbers after the decimal point so as you can see the numbers after the decimal point here are the same as the numbers after the decimal point here and so we can just subtract them and after we subtract them we get a whole number which is just 8. if we've subtracted the decimals from each other we can subtract the x's from each other as well. So we do 10x subtract x and that's going to give us 9x and 9x is equal to 8. Now you want to get x by itself. So you're going to divide by 9 on both sides and you're going to get x is equal to 8 ninths. Okay. If we have a look at another example, it says write 0 0.16 reoccurring as a fraction in its simplest form. So we need to write this one as a fraction and we're not given the fraction. So let x be equal to the reoccurring decimal, so 0 0.16. Because the dot is over the 6, that tells us that only the 6 is reoccurring. So it's going to be 0 0.16, 6666. 6, 6, 6. Okay, let's multiply it by 10. And that's going to give us 10x. If we multiply this by 10, that's going to give us 1.66666. Are the numbers after the decimal point the same in both cases? No, they're not. So we're going to have to multiply it again. So let's multiply this by 10, which is going to give us 100x. And that's going to be equal to 16.6666. Okay. Now, are the numbers the same? Yes, they are. So we have 0.666 here and we have 0.666 here. So that means we can subtract this row over here and this row. So we are going to do 100x subtract 10x, which is going to give us 90x. And we're going to do 16.6 reoccurring subtract 1.6 reoccurring. Okay. That's going to be 0, that's going to be 5, and that's going to be 1. So we're just left with 15. So 90x is therefore equal to 15. Okay, now to get x by itself, we're going to divide by 90 on both sides. 
and we get that x is equal to 15 over 90. Now it does say give your answer in its simplest form so we need to simplify 15 over 90 and if we simplify it we divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number so we could divide the top by 15 and we can divide the bottom by 15 as well and we would get 1 6. So 0 0.16 reoccurring as a fraction your answer is going to be 1 6. Okay next question it says prove algebraically that the reoccurring decimal 0 0.216 can be written as 8 over 37 so again let's go through the same method so we have 0 0.216 let's make x equal to it so x is equal to 0 0.216 now because there are two reoccurring numbers and the one is sandwiched between them that means the whole thing is going to be a reoccurring so it's going to be 0 0.216 216 216 and so on okay let's multiply it by 10 to get 10x is equal to multiply by 10 2.16216216 and so on let's multiply by 10 because we don't have the same numbers after the decimal point that's going to give us 100x is equal to 21.621621621 and so on. Now we still don't have the same numbers so let's multiply it by 10 again to get 1000x is equal to 216.216216 and so on. Now as you can see this row the thousand x row and this row just the x row are now matching the numbers after the decimal point are the same so 216 216 and 216 and 216 so now we can subtract x from a thousand x so a thousand x subtract x is just going to be 999 x and 216 subtract 0 is just going to be 216 because the 216, 216, they just cancel out. Okay, so you get that 999x is equal to 216. You need to get x by itself. So you're going to divide by 999 on both sides to get that x is equal to 216 over 999. And you can simplify that and you would get an answer of 8 over 37 so once you've simplified it you would get that as your answer okay so that has been algebraically proved just like that okay so this is your proof over here okay next question so it says write 3.254 as a fraction in its simplest form so again, let's go through the same method. Let's make this equal to x. So x is equal to 3.254 and the dots are just over the 54 and the 54. So we're just going to reoccur the 54 in this case. So 3.254, 54, 54, 54 and so on. Let's multiply by 10. So to get 10x is equal to 32.54, 54. 54 so we just multiplied that by 10 let's multiply by uh, 10 again because we've not got the same numbers after the decimal point so we get 100x is equal to 325.4545 and 45 okay as you can see we still don't have the same numbers after the decimal point so we'll need to multiply it again so let's multiply by 10 again to get a thousand x is equal to 3254.454545 and as you can see we have matched the numbers after the decimal point now so the thousand x and the hundred x have been matched the same numbers are after the decimal point 4545 and 4545 okay
sorry I've made a mistake there the numbers have matched but it's the 10x and the 1000x one and you can see that as I've made a mistake because it's not meant to be 4545 is meant to be 5454 okay so let's just change that to 545454 and the 10x and the 1000x have matched because they have the same endings okay so now you can just do a thousand x subtract 10 x so you can do this row and this row subtraction so if we do a thousand x subtract 10 x what's that going to give you that's going to give you 990 x and 990 x is going to be equal to 3254 subtract 32 obviously the decimals are gonna cancel out so 3254 subtract 32 and that's going to give you 3222 okay now you can divide and get x by itself so divide by 990 and divide by 990 and you need to write it in its simplest form so just simplify it so 3,222 divided by 990, and that's going to give you 179 over 55 in its simplest form, okay? And that would be your answer. And you know that your answer is correct, if you see, because over here we have a whole number. 3 is a whole number, and if we have a whole number, the numerator will need to be bigger than the denominator. So we know that our answer is going to be correct. okay final question now as you can see this one was a bit harder because we had a whole number but always remember to follow the same rule okay final question x is an integer which is one is smaller than or equal to x which is smaller than or equal to nine prove that 0, 0.0 x reoccurring is the same as x over 99 so what this is actually telling you if you understand the question that x is between 1 and 9 and it can include 1 and 9 okay we need to improve that whatever number that we choose as x is the same as that number over 99 okay so let's just choose a number between 1 and 9 let's choose 5 okay so we need to prove that 0 0.05 reoccurring is the same as 5 over 99 that's what we need to prove and that makes things quite easy for us let's make x equal to 0 0.050505 let's multiply it by 10 to get 10x is equal to 0 0.50505 okay let's multiply by 10 again because we don't have the same numbers after the decimal point to get 100x is equal to 5.050505 now as you can see the 100x line is matching with the x line okay because the same numbers are after the decimal point okay so we have 050505 and we have 050505 they're matching with each other and so you could just subtract them so 100x subtract x is going to give you 99x and then the numbers after the decimal point are just going to cancel out 5 subtract 0 is just going to be 5 now we can just solve for x by dividing by 99 on both sides and we get that as our answer x is equal to 5 over 99 and as you can see we have proved our answer We've chosen a random number between uh, 1 and 9, which is 5. So 0 0.05 is the same as 5 over 99. We have proved that x is the same in both cases. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And one last thing, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell.